school system guests together. Uh, I want to start to my right with any any other guests that we may have today. Yes, yeah, so let's have a, a student council. Okay. Thank you, President Suzanne. I have the last two of our student council students for this year that are visiting today, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hunter Downs, third grade. J.C. Hoover, third grade. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have any guests of Rotarians in the center of the dining room? Any guests to my left? Yes, Alan. Uh, President Suzanne, and ladies and gentlemen, my guest today is uh, <coughs> Philip Reeve. Philip's a longtime Rotarian. We just moved to Hickory several months ago. Uh, he was with the Gainesville, Georgia, not chapter, but the club, and uh, has made up here several times. His daughter here in town is Jennifer Ausler, who is married to uh, ophthalmologist Trey Ausler with uh, Greystone Eye Association. So, Philip Reed. Welcome back, Philip. Yes, Kathy. Phil, President Thank Suzanne, you. I was my guest today, Benita Ferretti who is a member of the Arts Council Board and will be installed as our Vice President at our annual meeting on May 20th. Wonderful. Welcome, Benita. It's time for Rotary Moment now. Will Ray Serta please come on down? Proud of the year. Thank you very much for that. Uh, today is May 8th. The health of the club report is we'll start with birthdays uh, this coming week. Carla uh, Wagen. Her birthday is tomorrow. Is Carla here today? Rusty Roberts, are you here? Rusty's birthday uh, is on May 12th. And Anthony Alderman on May 13th. Any birthdays that I left out? Yes, ma'am. Sunday. Sunday, happy birthday. Jenny. Jenny, happy birthday, Jenny. Happy 
happy birthday. John, where are you at? Just get started here. No. Um, next, uh, report on the folks that need our prayers. So we'll start with Neil. Uh, we only have two, but start with Neil McCreechy. He's recovering from hip. McGahey. Sorry about that. Neil's not here. Uh, recovering from hip replacement. Uh, he was be discharged uh, today uh, from uh, the hospital. I guess he should be on his way back home, discharged this afternoon. Um, words heard from Neil after the surgery was he said he was doing fine. So. Stella. Stella. Right. Uh, next is Rufus Walker. Uh, Rufus was released from the hospital, Charlotte Hospital, April 14th, and he's uh, in the Carolina Rehabilitation for a short time before he comes home. Uh, there's a uh, website called caringbridge.org, caringbridge.org, that uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of back and forth uh, comments uh, about Rufus and his wife, uh, I think her name was Lynn, and uh, just, uh, you know, just heartwarming, uh, you know, anecdotes and, and well wishes uh, for Rufus and, and his family. So, uh, if you would like to know more, go to caringbridge.org. Uh, next is congratulations. Is Mitzi, is it Galman? Yes. Mitzi here today? Yes. Where is she at? There she is over there. Uh, Mitz, Mitzi has a, um, we'd like to congratulate her and her daughter Meredith. Her daughter was married on March 29th. Yay! <laughs> also, as for achievements, Mitzi's son, Ben, uh, graduates this weekend from UNC Charlotte. Go 49ers! I know. Am I right? Chapel Hill. Okay. I got the email. It said UNC C. Right? Oh, okay. I missed it. All right. I, I apologize. But um, what else? Who else? Charles Snipes. Is Charles here today? Yes. yes. Charles is being. Uh, let's see. LR has recognized Charles next week. They're bestowing an honorary doctor doctorate degree for Charles. <laughs> Class of 58, right, Charles? And our class of 58. So next week, we can all start referring to uh, Charles as Dr. Snipes. Yay! Congratulations, Charles. Uh, we want to remember, I'm not sure if Frank's going to talk about it, but I was asked to mention tonight is the uh, Hickory um, Rotary Blood Drive. Okay. I'll skip that one. Uh, Hickory International Information, a uh, little bit of tidbit of the origin uh, that I found. I did know Paul P. Harris, this is a gentleman that I've heard his name being uh, mentioned several times since I've been a member, but I never really knew, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, I'm sure he was a great uh, gentleman, but Paul P. Harris, he wanted to create a professional group with the same friendly spirit he felt in the small towns of his youth. So on February 23, 1905, Harris, Gustavus, Lair, Sylvester, Scheel, and Shorey gather at Lair's office in room 711 of the Unity Building in downtown Chicago. How appropriate is the Unity Building, right? Well, this was the first Rotary Club meeting. They decided to call the new club Rotary after the practice of rotating meeting locations. So, I know who Paul Harris is now. Uh, finally, just to get to, try to get a laugh or two, uh, looked up uh, life's unanswered questions, something that we can, you know, we can ponder on for the rest of the day and uh, folks have been trying to figure out for a long time. Here we go. What was the greatest thing before sliced bread? How is it that we put men on the moon before we figured out that it was a good idea to put wheels on luggage. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. Um, so it is time for some announcements. I'm going to go ahead and let Frank Young make an announcement about the blood drive. He's the expert. Frank, here. Thanks, President Suzanne. 
All right, so today is the day. Can you, can you feel my energy, hopefully? This is the last day uh, that I'm going to hound you for at least 10 months. So uh, we can rejoice in that. The bad news is that a lot of you have to get blood, um, incidentally. So uh, again, at 1 o'clock today in 30 minutes, and I apologize to any of the, uh, the teachers, the nominees, if people get up and leave, it's going to be very few, but it's not because they're not interested. Um, also, hopefully you saw the announcements, uh, the emails. If you cannot give uh, and, uh, and want to, please send somebody in your place. Uh, if you do so, uh, you get a makeup and you get the prizes. Uh, a free oil change from Mike Johnson and two free crawdads tickets. Um, I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say uh, my daughter's teacher is here, Mrs. Reese. Uh, and I can't say enough how incredible she is, uh, and her principal as well, and her old principal. Um, that's it. One o'clock, everybody. I uh, hope to see uh, most of you there. Uh, if you can't make it, um, I understand. Hopefully you can, and, and hopefully you can send somebody uh, in your place. Thanks so much. So. I saw Frank's post on Facebook this morning and, and reposted it and came up with the idea to think of, um, since it's Mother's Day weekend, that maybe uh, you could inspire yourself or inspire others to give blood in honor or in memory of your mother. Um, I thought that might be something meaningful for people to do. So um, we also would like to make an announcement because our, our Hickory Public School staff is here today, it came to my attention today that we're being asked to provide proctors for exams and that would be a great way for us to support the school system. I left an information sheet here on the table. Um, we are always I, I hear so many times in meetings and, and in sidebars that people want more opportunity to do hands-on service, that, that we don't want to be the club that just writes a check. Um, so you have two opportunities right now, today, to give blood and an opportunity to sign up to proctor for the school system that's very much needed. So that is my plug for that today. Also, um, coming up in two weeks, we're going to be having a training on technology that has to do with Rotary. Um, we've been talking a lot about this thing called DACDB. It's the District and Club Database. It's a really wonderful way to communicate. Um, you can put this database on your cell phone through an app or use it on your computer. And we're encouraging people to bring their electronic devices for once. Instead of asking you to put it away, we're going to be asking you to bring it out on May 22nd so that you can learn how to use this great database. So I'm going to turn the program over now to David Horn. Thank you, President Suzanne. Frank, I don't know if you were campaigning or not uh, for a Teacher of the Year, but uh, voting closed last week. So sorry about that. Um, obviously, all of you know that we have uh, all great teachers here and, and, and all winners. Um, absolutely no question about that. So, um, welcome to the Wilmer Jenkins Teacher of the Year Award ceremony. It's always a great day for our club and it um, is a great day that we see exactly what some of our money goes to that we raise and uh, you see some, uh, get to hear a little bit about some tremendous teachers which we see every single year. Um, Walter, you're blessed with great teachers as I'm sure you know without any prompting on that. Um, a lot of great teachers in the system and we get to see um, nine of them every year so we're, we're happy about that. Um, this is a really long running award. I'm not sure. I, I keep thinking I want to look that up how many years in a row we've done it. I know it's at least 30 because I think I've been up here about 27. So um, I know it's before that. Um, but uh, this, this has been a long running award um, in memory of Wilmer Jenkins, who was a member of this club. So we're, we're glad to do it, and uh, we're still trying to get that award up to 10,000, but we're working on that. Um, we, we are pleased that we're back to our, our normal levels this year after taking a little bit of a hiatus last year. We had to do some, some uh, creative financing last year so that we could get on a, um, on a different schedule so that now we know how much money that we're going to spend. We, before, we were guessing how much money we were going to spend and then trying to raise that money. And now we raise the money and know how much we're going to spend. So we had to get a year kind of backwards there and unfortunately a lot of the giving got cut and um, even though I campaigned hard uh, um, we, we had to cut the, this award as well but now we're back up winner gets a thousand dollars all the other teachers get 500 so um, we're 
happy about that, and we're still one of these days. Um, oh, you didn't know that? That's, um, that's the deal. Okay. And a flat. And a flat. Yeah, and a flat. Suitable for hanging. Um, I do want to welcome Walter Hart, who's, of course, a member of our club, uh, Superintendent of Schools. Also, we're glad to have Dr. Uh, Denise Patterson, the Chief Academic Advisor, here in the middle. We have several board members here. If you just sort of raise your hand, Reggie Hamilton, who's a chairman of the, of the board, Margaret Pope, Sally Johnson, uh, Amy Monroe, and Charlotte Williams. So, uh, we appreciate all of you. certainly welcome all the principals here. Um, we know you didn't have anything else to do, but the chicken fingers were worth it. So, you know, we're glad you're all here and supporting these great teachers and, and other staff. Also, um, a special thanks to Tracy Sicklin at the office. She is not here today, I don't think, but she really made, uh, made it easy for us. I mean, she has to hound the principals to get the nominations, has to collect all the nominations in, got them to Kathy, um, helped set up the interview schedule and made all that flow very smoothly. So thanks to Tracy and if you see her, please tell her that. Um, Beverly Snowden is here um, getting a little publicity for us, so we appreciate that. And our new member, Anna Shook, is manning the camera today. Um, Jennifer's out. Anna is a former nominee for Women of the uh, Teacher of the Year. So we appreciate that, Anna. Thank you. And I hope I look good. <laughs> um, Kathy Greathouse, my co-chair, thank you. She um, really was in charge of all the arrangements and the legwork and uh, did a great job taking a lot of load off of me. I have a few other things going on. And she'll um, uh, be ready to take over next year. And uh, I've only found you know, one major mistake she did, which I'll go over with her later. <laughs> There She's done no. pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Yeah, it's about, I don't know, about 27 years ago, uh, I was on the committee with John Bray was the chairman, and he, um, after a couple of years, and we had our like our last meeting, he laid this big batch of stuff, and he said, "Now it's yours." And so you're getting the big batch of stuff uh, in a couple of weeks. So thanks a lot. Also, um, thanks to the. Um, um, other Rotarians that helped us interview, besides Kathy and myself, Linda Lutz, Jamie Brown, and Sandy Fotheringham helped us select these winners. So, let's uh, move on and let you meet these great teachers. And they will stand while I talk about them a little bit and then just uh, applause at the end if you would. Okay, first, uh, Verna Breland. She is an English teacher at Hickory High School. She was born in the West Indies, and we're glad she's here. She uh, gave us a, a nice little statement. I'd like to uh, tell you some of the things that she said. Um, she said, I am committed to my students. I enjoy teaching because teachers make a difference. My students are successful because I care about them. Every day I learn more about my students. I know them, I watch them, I respect them, and they respect me. Honestly, teaching doesn't get much better than that. I absolutely love teaching. I am a teacher and so very proud of it. One of our principals says, Ms. Breland is a teacher that students and co-workers remember forever. Ms. Breland is a walking legacy. She is the model of teacher effectiveness. Her philosophy says it all. Every child can learn. One of her co-workers says, if you ever have a chance to witness Ms. Breland in action during a class period, then you would observe her excellent skills as the director of the class. She creates an environment that causes each student to perform at their best, all while encouraging them to understand that they possess the ability to exceed their own expectations. The true value of a teacher is not based solely on their work in the classroom, but also on the impact they may have on the child as a whole. She is constantly mentioned by students as their best and favorite teacher due to the inspiration she provides all students on a daily basis. Another teacher says, no teacher at Hickory High School spends more time helping students and her fellow teachers than Verna. She truly cares for Hickory High School and its students. Verna is a spectacular teacher and a remarkable person. 
A student said, if you were to ask every student at Hickory High to describe Ms. Breland in one word, they would not be able to do it because you can't describe Ms. Breland. <laughs> uh, there's this vibe from her class that makes me want to go to her class and learn. Out of all Ms. Breland's wonderful talents, the one that stands out the most to me is making her students feel confident when answering and asking questions. Ms. Breland has taught us that by standing up for yourself, you're learning and you're also helping those around you learn. To all of her students, children and co-workers, she is a teacher, problem solver, mentor, comedian, friend, mother, grandmother, and much more. It explains that Ms. Breland's present students, students she once had, all know what an energetic and enthusiastic teacher that she is. Verna Breland. Pat Hines. Pat is a sixth grade math and science teacher at Northview Middle School. And she says that she's blessed to be able to teach young middle school students. My desire and hope is that we are nurturing kind souls who will be excellent members of the community and workplace. My goal is daily love on children. My goal is to daily love on children trying to mold our citizens of tomorrow to be ready to take their place in our workplace and community. Her principal says, as a master of her content, a child advocate, a teacher mentor, a supportive resource for parents, Ms. Hines is the whole package. Students feel safe, supported, and demonstrate confidence instilled by daily practice that celebrates success and promotes effort and self-reflection for improvement. Ms. Hines understands the importance of maintaining a healthy and happy spirit to ensure the best for students. A co-worker says, I realize that Pat truly is what I aspire to be as a teacher. She is the most dedicated professional I have met in the 10 years that I have been teaching. She is dedicated to helping every child advance. She plans lessons to reach all of her students. Her students always talk about how hard Ms. Hines' class is, but follow up with saying how much they are learning and how much extra help she always gives them. Pat is not only a dedicated teacher that ensures the success of all students, but she is a leader among her colleagues in this school. It is a joy to work with her. Another teacher says, Ms. Hines has constantly, I'm sorry, consistently demonstrated her exceptional leadership skills. I witnessed how she mentored the beginning math teachers, participated in interviewing prospective teachers for sixth grade worked tirelessly in staff development math meetings both at the local and state levels, and is someone who her colleagues seek advice and guidance. Each of her students is valued and respected. <coughs> Ms. Hines encourages her students to think for themselves and to work on challenging material. Ms. Hines has consistently demonstrated excellent leadership skills in the classroom, her school, and community. A parent says, I recognize excellence in teaching and commend Ms. Hines for her commitment and demonstration of such excellence. We have concluded that our daughter's education is in excellent hands with Ms. Hines. I can see Ms. Hines' inspirational guidance, wealth of experience, love for teaching, and love for her students shining through our daughter. Another parent says, Ms. Hines is an outstanding teacher not only in classroom management, but most especially in her ability to help all students understand how to do math. Because of her giftedness in teaching and working with children, I know I could trust her to give her the best math education possible. She has a unique way of helping students learn that their opinions and ideas matter. My son, in fact, all of my children who had Ms. Hines agree that she is or was their favorite teacher and they enjoyed her class the most. A student says, Ms. Hines is a wonderful, helpful teacher. She goes out of her way to help you if you need it, if you need help with any problem. She is also a good math teacher. I used to struggle with math, but now I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Another student says, Ms. Hines is very kind to all of her students. She always tries to get us excited about learning. She encourages us to do our best in all of our work. Ms. Hines is the kindest, most caring teacher I have had. Pat Hines. <laughs> Cammie Rowe. teaches general music and course at Grandview Middle School. Her 
principal says Ms. Rowe helps students develop technical skills in music and consistently works to make sure students are aware of the historical and cultural lessons taught through music. She sets the bar very high for her students and she simply expects the best. Ms. Rowe's influence reaches far beyond the classroom and students continue through high school, college, and adult life. Students will attest that Ms. Rowe's positive outlook on life has encouraged them to willingly try to be the very best they can each day. A co-worker says, Ms. Rowe loves teaching and loves her students. Her passion for teaching is evident in all she does. It's difficult to describe how amazing she is in just a few words. She's warm, caring, and giving. Ms. Rowe encourages her students to dream big. Her enthusiasm is contagious. Another teacher says, Ms. Rowe is an exemplary teacher. She believes in the, te in the children she teaches and in the ability to perform at a very high level. She exemplifies high moral character and is able to relate to each child and help them with their classwork and in their lives. Ms. Rowe is a very positive person who has each child's best interest at heart. She goes above and beyond what is expected of her. A parent says that Ms. Rowe has every characteristic of an exemplary teacher for middle school students and their parents. Without a doubt, she's the teacher that students will think about long after they leave. Ms. Rowe inspires her students to do their best, to freely share their gifts, and to work hard. She has the most engaging personality. She focuses on the positive in the world and in those around her. Students and parents are drawn to her bright outlook and her warm, accepting attitude. Another parent says, Ms. Rowe's infectious smile and enthusiasm are contagious. She's an inspiration to her students and they trust her. She is a free spirit who identifies with her students by offering them mutual respect and showing them compassion for their well-being. Another parent says, Ms. Rowe has quite a gift of getting to know her students and evoking a positive influence through the school and specifically in her classroom. Over the past three years, Ms. Rowe has lovingly encouraged my son. By openly accepting his limited abilities, she fostered a, a desire to succeed and a safe haven to overcome his shortcomings. She fostered an openness to learn. Her influence has enriched every student fortunate enough to attend Grandview Middle School. A former student says, Ms. Rowe is one of the strongest women I know and is the best teacher I've ever had the privilege of learning from. Ms. Rowe not only taught me how to act and use my voice to the best of my ability, but also how to genuinely be a kind and good person. We were taught things in classes that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life. She was one of the reasons I was inspired to follow my dreams and pursue a career in the arts. Another student says, Ms. Rowe is the most enthusiastic teacher I've ever had. She puts 110% into everything she does. She's such a positive role model for all her students and gives everyone someone to look up to. Her classroom is so cheerful and happy. She makes learning fun and enjoyable. She teaches us more than choral music. She teaches us teamwork and good character. Her dedication to us is obvious by the extra time and energy she spends with us and after the school day has ended. She helped me develop good leadership skills, how to set example for others, and just to be there to help anyone who needs it. She's taught me more things than she could imagine, and without her, I wouldn't be who I am today. This is Cammie Ruff. Patricia Middleton. Patricia teaches second grade at Jenkins Elementary. Her principal says, Miss Middleton has been teaching for 34 years. The past 26 years, have been one, she has been one of the pillars of Jenkins Elementary. When I look back on my career someday, I count it a privilege to have worked with this jewel of a teacher. No one could ever question Miss Middleton's love for children. They are precious in her sight. She treats them with love and respect. She considers it a joy, a calling, and an adventure to teach children. Pat believes in the value and potential of each child. She desires to instill in her students the belief that everything is possible through hard work and putting forth your best effort. She challenges her students. She nurtures her students. She rewards her students. Ms. Middleton is a recently published author. A recently published children's book titled Given Strength is an example to her students and to her peers that we must all use our talents and gifts the encouragement and betterment of others. A 
co-worker says, the course of Pat's life and career speaks for itself. Humble and faithful servant, devoted parent, gifted teacher, polished professional, effective leader, accomplished children's book, book author, compassionate mentor and friend, and much more. Pat gives wholly of herself to each of her students as if there were no others. I can't think of any better quality in a teacher than selfishly, selflessly giving all one has to give for the benefit of others. She has an undeniable ability to reach all of her students, no matter their circumstances, and empower them to see the good in themselves. She elevates all of her students and peers to be better, stronger, more confident, and more giving versions of themselves. Another teacher says, Ms. Middleton demonstrates true leadership and true knowledge when it comes to the art of the teaching profession. She exemplifies a professional and compassionate attitude within and outside the school environment. That is exemplary in achieving and individualizing education for each child. Another co-worker says, she is a hands-on teacher who provides rigorous instruction with a high interest level. Ms. Middleton is an asset to our school. With her undeniable love for the students, she takes every opportunity to interact with not only her current students, but many students at Jenkins. Ms. Middleton communicates well with colleagues, students, parents, and administrators. She always makes herself available to her colleagues to help in any way. Pat Middleton has made an impact on the lives of the children she has taught and with the teachers with whom she has worked. A parent says, I have a son who is diagnosed with autism. With my deepest appreciation and honesty, I can truly say that Ms. Middleton has been a blessing to my family. As a teacher, she has anticipated all my concerns. I can see the positive results whenever my son comes home from school. Another parent says, Ms. Middleton is a thoughtful teacher who applies her knowledge and skills to help students learn. She is an amazing teacher and creates a great learning environment where students feel respected. Her work ethic is tireless and she is persistent in her ability to look for the best things in kids. A parent says, when you see Miss Middleton, she will be wearing a smile. <laughs> she is the type of person that can find happiness in anything and every day. Her optimism and zest for life is contagious, and the students that are lucky enough to have her as a teacher recognize a positive person. She is their cheerleader, their advocate, and I believe the students can achieve more having her behind them. We need more Miss Middletons in the world that exude happiness. One of her students says she's a very loving person who cares very much about every student in her class. Her attitude as a teacher was always po positive. And another student says, I was in Ms. Middleton's class last year. She has a professional attitude as a teacher. Is kind to her students and other people. Patient with words and problems. Has good character with beauty inside. And is a heartwarming teacher who will never let you down. Thank you for your time. Tara Triple. Tara is a fifth grade teacher at Longview Elementary. A teacher says, I have privilege, I have been privileged to work with many fine teachers throughout the course of my career, and Tara is the epitome of an excellent, deserving educator. Ms. Triplett displays a positive, professional attitude and is a real champion for her students at Longview Elementary. Tara always has her students in their best interests at the center of her planning and implementation of instruction. One thing that students love about Ms. Triplett is her quick smile and her ability to look at situations with a sense of humor that fifth graders appreciate. Ms. Triplett possesses a keen sense of compassion and one thing that shines through in her classroom is that she cares about each and every one of her students. She sets the bar high for student expectations and the students are rising to the occasion. Her students know that she expects them to approach their work with motivation and a can-do attitude and take ownership in their learning. She is a pleasure to work with because of her pleasant and positive attitude, making learning fun and interesting. Another um, co-worker says, it's been truly a privilege to teach with such an outstanding educator Students, parents, co-workers, and administrators respect and appreciate Tara's professionalism and expertise. Ms. Triplett has high expectations and goals for all students in her classroom. Students rise to the challenge and are anxious to compete 
complete whatever challenge is set before them. Staff members and administrators appreciate the commitment to education that Tara brings with her. I personally look to Ms. Triplett for advice and inspiration. She has always been helpful, supportive, and generous with her knowledge. I'm very fortunate to be working with someone of such high integrity. A parent says that here we are less than two months away from the end of school and we're about to send off to middle school a child who is still socially outgoing but who is much more settled and organized than she was last fall. We attribute the changes largely to Ms. Triplett's influence. She's the kind of teacher who is able to strike that careful balance between being loving and being firm with her students. Our children are her children, and they are blessed to partake of the daily doses of wisdom and guidance that she dispenses right along with the core, common core curriculum. Ms. Triplett is an educator who takes the time to instruct ensure, and to ensure that her students have grasped the critical concepts before they're sent on their way. They depart her room with confidence in what they've learned. We're thankful to have a teacher like Tara Triplett, particularly at a school like Longview, where a loving touch goes a long way. Tara Triplett. Rebecca Morford. Rebecca is in her 20th year as a kindergarten teacher at Beaumont Elementary. Her principal says Rebecca is an outstanding educator and works well with her colleagues. Ms. Morford is an excellent kindergarten teacher. She displays a lot of enthusiasm and excitement for teaching which benefits the students in her classroom. She goes the extra mile to make sure all students understand what is going on. She truly understands the developmental levels of kindergartners and prepares lessons to help students grow. Ms. Morford is very creative and innovative. Students really get a true hands-on education in science, and students really talk about all the cool stuff going on in the classroom. <laughs> Ms. Morford is well liked for her peers, and her teammates speak highly of her qualifications and her dedication to the school. A co-worker says, I enjoyed many opportunities to work directly with Ms. Morford. She's been our leadership representative for kindergarten for the past couple of years. During those years, she's attended leadership meetings, led grade level meetings, organized events, and was willing to assist colleagues. In addition, I've had the opportunities to observe Rebecca's very direct yet personable approach toward working with the students with varying learning styles and abilities. Her personable and caring approach to working with students and parents is commendable and very deserving of praise. Ms. Morford, demonstrates a passion for teaching in her positive and encouraging interactions with her students. A parent says, the buzz around Beaumont Elementary community is that Ms. Morford is one of the best. She has <laughs> definitely lived up to that reputation. Ms. Mor Morford is very attentive to each and every child. She does not pick favorites and treats each child fairly. She expects a lot from her students and demands that they try their hardest. She encourages parental involvement and has an open door policy. She gives so much and works so hard. A, a family um, wrote in from parents and children. Rebecca's demeanor is a perfect blend of patience, firmness, and sunshine. Rebecca truly embodies all that is desirable in a teacher. We were impressed with her level of education, management of the classroom, professionalism, discipline style, and ability to transition from working with children to adults without a change in personality. She is all that a parent could hope for in a teacher. A few of the more memorable educational experiences were Watermelon Day, Clown Day, <laughs> Planting Sunflower Gardens, Learning to Tie Shoes, Going to the Pumpkin Patch, and the play The Great Big Enormous Turnip. <laughs> I missed that. Um, one of the students says, Ms. Morford taught me how to read and write. She also taught me addition and subtraction. She showed us how to do schoolwork in fun and easy ways. She did not get frustrated when kindergartners argued. <laughs> <laughs> another, another child says, Ms. Morford is a great teacher. She always knew what to do to solve a problem. On clown day, she was the best clown. <laughs> she would always make us laugh, and if we were lucky, she might even do a cartwheel or two. <laughs> this is Rebecca Morgan. Caitlin 
grace. 